Hey everybody, this is Larry with Leading Edge Industrial again. Uh, today we're going to go over how to set work coordinate system and also how to do a tool offset. So now our machine's home. Uh, we're in 10 thousandths in increments, but I'm going to go ahead and move it in one inch at a time. And uh, we're going to kind of move pretty quickly over here to, to the rough estimate of where that uh, X is on the wood. And I'm using keyboard commands here. Page up, page down is the same thing as using the uh, buttons over here on the side. Uh, the Z and uh, a positive and negative X, all of that. Those are um, the arrow keys, left arrow key, right arrow key, up arrow key, down arrow key. And again, this is page up and page down. Uh, I, I prefer using the, the buttons or the keyboard versus the, um, the buttons on the screen. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move the 10 thousandths, which is uh, using the device and key, div divider key on the, uh, the keyboard. And we'll bring it down closer. We're a little bit too far over on that one, so once more we're going to hit the divider key and move in 10 thousandths now. Now I'm going to change over to one thousandths of an inch increment so that we can slide a piece of paper underneath the tip of that tool and get it right down to um, where our uh, zero point would be. For that, we have to enter in the point one thousandths. And then tab off of that so that when you're using the arrow keys, it doesn't continue to throw in numbers, or not arrow keys, but the number keys on the, on the keyboard uh, into your step size. So the technique I'm going to use is just using a simple piece of paper. Uh, it's a common technique used in machining. You're going to slide it underneath the tool until it just grabs the, the paper, and you're going to call that um, three and a half thou. What I do is I like to, to move it until I just feel it grabbing the paper. Right there, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to our macros and we're gonna set X0, Y0, but we wanna set Z to uh, three and a half thou. So zero, zero, three, five. Now when we hit our macro button, it shows that we're 4,000 over. So, because we only have this run into three decimal places. So now we're gonna run up to our uh, machine control and let's move our our increment size back to one inch and we're just gonna randomly move somewhere off of this zero point okay so now we're off of that zero point and then just to be safe we're gonna go ahead and check this here but we're gonna go to X zero Y zero Z point five inches so we're gonna go over here to the commands menu um, one thing that you'll want to know is anytime you use the arrow keys it moves in incremental mode so it does a G91. So the very first thing you want to do is uh, do a G90 to put it back into uh, absolute mode. Uh, we're just going to type in G54 to make sure it's going to grab that G54 offset. So now when I hit enter, we'll see the machine go over to that XY uh, zero position and Z.5 inches above. And since we used rapid, it moves as fast as it can to those points. So now we're going to go ahead and move back over to the machine control. And let's go ahead and set this down to uh, um, 100 thousandths of increment movement. And uh, we'll bring it down to uh, f um, half an inch to, uh, to touch the surface. Okay, so there you go. Now it's uh, just above the surface, and uh, we're right at zero. So now, once again, I'm going to go ahead and do a, uh, a jog up so that I can do a tool change, and then we'll offset the tool length. Okay, so using a fixture, and I'm going to show you this in, right after we do the tool offset. I've created a fixture for measuring the tool differences, and uh, it just makes things a whole lot easier. And what I've done is measured, pre-measured all the tools, 
to measure the lengths of them and then you measure the offset always giving your off your very first tool a zero offset um, because that is your um, your tool offset for that then uh, uh, and everything is related to that tool offset so everything goes to the first tool not to the last tool you're using that's kind of the hardest thing to understand we'll go ahead and set Z point one eight nine and hit our our macro button so now it knows based on the last fixture that we're gonna go 0.189 from the last tool height so once again let's go over to our command menu we're already in our G90 since this is our default header here uh, let's go ahead and G54 so now we have to do is type in uh, G00 for our rapid uh, X0 Y0 Z.5 and here we go and now we're 0.5 inches above the work as you can see so we'll go ahead and move back over to our machine control tab we'll pop it down into hundred thousandths movement and we're gonna bring it down half an inch and you'll see that we're right at the top of the work and that's how you do fixture offsets Please subscribe and click like. And uh, we'll see you in another video. Thanks.